Well, come on, let's do it. Come on uh, and, uh, and have a seat. Um, happy Corona Day. <laughs> happy Corona Day. Right. Let's see it, let's see it. All right. Look like we lie. Look like we lie. Well, we lie. Might as well go and do a little cooking, Doc. Huh? All right. I'm about to teach you how to make my grandmama's pork chop. I'm sure she was alive today. She'd probably be cussing me out. Okay? I'm sure she'd probably be cussing me clean out, trying to figure out why I basically got her picture all over the world, the wide, and the web. Okay? Anyway, this meal is about to be half keto, half carb. Okay? We're doing half keto, we're doing half carb. I need a little something to go with the pork chops. I, I want to make some rice, okay? But I said now, that's taking it too far. We already going far. But if I make rice, that would be, you know, making rice is just taking it too far. So I'm not going to make no rice today, okay? I'm not going to make the rice today. But one day soon, we're going to have a little piece of rice. Okay, I got a little piece of bacon. This could be, this could be um, whatever you'd have it to be, okay? This don't have to be bacon. This could be smoked turkey. This could be a ham hock. This could be a uh, smoked pigtail. It really don't, whatever you fancy, whatever you like um, from a smoked meat perspective, right? I know everybody has their own choices, their own different types of smoked meat situations. So I'm gonna use a little bacon in mine, huh? Okay, I'm a, I'm using the instant pot. <laughs> of all the things I did when I remodeled the kitchen, I didn't put outlets close by. Why I didn't do that? I don't even know what I was thinking. Okay, I didn't do that. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to bear with me. All right, we're gonna have to go back and forth a little bit. All right. But I'm gonna put the bacon um, in the instant pot just to get the bacon going a little bit. Okay, I started on saute. Now you know we ain't really had that good much that much of a good luck with the instant pot. So what we're gonna pray on is that we have a little better luck this go round with um with the instant pot. Okay. Now uh, before you, I've gone ahead and I've done. A nice little um, rinse, oh, not a wash, really. With the corona, you got to wash. You got to do what? Fight and pray. Uh, a nice wash of mustard and turnip greens straight from the farmer's market. I don't know what y'all buying to quarantine yourself, but you're not buying mustard. You're not buying turnip greens at all because they was in plentiful numbers at the farmer's market, okay? So I got a bunch of each, and I, there was only like, I think 89 cent a bunch, 79 cent a bunch, so you can feed an army. And I'm gonna put these in the Instant Pot with the bacon, okay? Um, bear with me while I do that now, okay? Uh-huh, you're gonna throw the bacon in with the mustard, and the turtle greens. And I don't know about you, but I don't pick greens. I picked so many greens growing up as a kid, I can't pick them, okay? So I cut mine with the stem on. See, the stem got the nutrients and the vitamins in the stem, you see? And you need these to protect you against corona. And by the way, 
People say they don't like the stems because the stems are tough. Here's the thing. If you cook the stems long enough, they become tender like the regular greens, okay? Now, I know this is not something people do. If you was born, you know, prior to like 1984, you see what I'm saying? But I'm sorry. I, I'm doing it, okay? I was born in 81, but I'm doing it, okay? Okay, we're going to put the greens in here, all right? And um, I got another little secret for you. Whenever I cook greens of any kind, mustard green, turnip green, collard green, mixed with kale and cabbage, and add a little spinach, it don't matter. Whenever I cook them, I always season them last, okay? I always season them last. I never season them right up to begin with. So we're going to put a little piece of water in here, and then we're going to put the lid on, and we're going to put it on pressure cook. See, that's why I ain't make the drink yet. See, I know what y'all are saying. Where is the drink? Well, the greens got to cook. Okay, so when we sat down and did our production schedule, this is the order we're going in. Okay, okay, put just some water in here. All right, not a whole lot, but you know, a little bit. All right, and then we're gonna put this on. Um, we're gonna put this on. There we go, and we're gonna cut this on pressure. Wait, hold on. Put this on a uh, pressure cook, and uh, I got it on 30 minutes. Make sure it's on seal, not vent, okay? Make sure it's on seal. I'll put it on for... <laughs> okay. i put it on for 30 minutes, and i say that should be plenty of time, okay? Uh, now, we need a little piece of drink. And the way I feel today is like this. Corona is out here running rampant. And uh, there's one thing I know solved a multitude of problems in the black household growing up. And let me grab it, okay? Whenever you get sick, let me grab it. Build up our immune system, okay? So a little ginger ale, really, I mean, you really can't go wrong with a little piece of, in a black household, okay? If you had a black grandmama like me, your stomach hurt, ginger ale. You got the boo-boo, ginger ale. You ate too much, ginger ale. Your ear finna fall off, ginger ale. You are bleeding out your elbow, Ginger ale, okay, and it's G I N G E R apostrophe R E L L ginger ale, okay. That would just do. So I said, you know what? What if we did apple ginger daiquiris? I said, you know what? An apple ginger daiquiri sound like that's going to work for me. Okay? That sound like that's going to work for me. Apple ginger daiquiri sound like that's up my alley. Okay? And we have to ward off any bad spirits. So we're going to go and do that today. Okay? Um, you could do a frozen version of this. Just put the pop in. I'm from Chicago. Put the pop in. Okay? I'm not from Atlanta. I'm from Chicago. We, this is pop. Okay? This ain't soda. This is pop. Put the pop in last, okay? But we're going to do it. Um, I was drinking some water earlier. We're going to do it uh, like this here. Let me get some ice. Hold on. First glass I've seen, so I'm just gonna put it in here. Okay, just the first glass I saw. <laughs> it's okay, so you grab the first thing. All right, so uh, you know, if you got a little um, curacao, no, a little Cointreau, you put that in there. I got a little piece of sweetened lime juice, okay, because that's the good thing about 
um, a daiquiri. You want it to be sort of well-rounded, okay? Um, I got some sour apple. Oh, and this is the pucker sour apple. So this is the good one. This is full of good apple flavor. And you know, apple and ginger go together. Like, really, like, you know, like love and marriage. They go together. Well, unless you're having a hard time, you see. The devil is busy, then it don't, don't, it don't go together. Come on, new bottle. All right, and this is Bacardi. Great Caribbean rum, okay? Just put you a little bit in there. You don't need that much rum in here, okay? I see y'all when y'all make y'all drinks and y'all tag me. Y'all put so much rum, okay? You just need a little taste, a little piece of rum, okay? And like most drinks, you just want to shake it. And the key to a good shaking cocktail is like 30 seconds. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 29, 30. And you, you really know how you do it good? When you get the frost over here, okay? You get the frost. You put the cross on there. Plead the blood of Jesus over Corona, okay? All right. Now, I don't know what you come to do, but as often as you do this, do this in remembrance. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh I done wasted a little something. Hold on. Hold on, I'm wasting it. Lord Jesus. Hold on, you got to have a steady hand now. Steady hand. Okay, steady hand. Okay, let me just taste it without it. Hold on. Oh, God. Without the ginger ale? Mm. Ooh. Mm. Now that is delicious. Okay, and we just going to top it. Okay, with a little piece of um, ginger ale. Because use apple ginger, you know, we can call it a sparkling apple ginger daiquiri. How about that for a name, huh? I just made that up. Very creative, I know. Okay, sparkling apple ginger daiquiri. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. As often as you do this, do this in remembrance of me. Let a man examine himself. If any man hunger, let him smother pork chops. Paul wrote that in the New Testament. Listen, if this is your first, second, or third time joining us, at this time we ask all visitors to please stand. We asking all visitors to please stand at this moment. At this time, I'd like to thank you for joining us for tonight's service. It is my desire, deep in my heart, that something is said or done that really encourages your heart and really uh, allows you to gain something from this evening and come back again and join us in the future. Now, at this time, our impact agents are coming down the aisle and they're going to hand you an information card. We ask that you take that card and fill that card out. And when you're done and you go around for offering, put that card in the offering basket so that we can then stay in contact with you. We'd like to welcome you to this evening's service. <laughs> Keto is on the main line. Tell you what you want. Whoa, keto is on, it's on the main line. Tell you what you want. Keto is on the main line. Tell you what you want. You just call it up and tell it what you want. You may be seated.
<laughs> you may be seated. All right. Pork chops. See, let me tell you what had happened. This is dangerous. Okay? I'm telling you that right now. This is dangerous. So the other day, yesterday, huh? I went out and I quarantined shop. You know, you know, in case we got to hunker down. Guess who's not going to be hungry? Your boy. Okay? So what I did was I went ahead and vacuum sealed some um some pork chops. Because you know you get the value pack. They get like 12 pork chops in the pack. Ain't nobody here but me. I'm not going to eat 12 pork chops. But a good three or four. Now, I might go and devour those. Okay? Not in one sitting. But you know, nevertheless. And you want to get you in a sorted pack of pork chops. See, when I was growing up, we used to go down to the meat market, okay? And we I come from very meager, very humble beginnings, okay? And grandma used to go down there and she would say, let me get, she didn't ask for it by pound, okay? That's when you had money. You say, let me get four pounds of pork chops. No, 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 no. We only had a couple of dollars. You see what I'm saying? So grandma would say, let me get $6 worth of pork chops. $4 worth of pork chops. And it really don't matter whether it's an end cut, a center cut, a middle cut, a front seat cut, a back cut, a buzz cut, a Caesar cut. It don't matter. Okay? As long as you season and treat the pork chops with dignity and respect, them things was good. Please do not get sedity and get you a pork chop without the bone in it, okay? That's not what we do, okay? All right, where I come from, the bone in the pork chop is important because you got to hold on to the bone and chew all around, huh? I know I'm preaching. <laughs> huh? <laughs> And an amen goes where? Right there. All right. You want to rinse off your pork chops real good, like I just did. And then you want to grab you some seasoning, okay? Uh, this ain't the time to be shy, okay? All right. If you're an introvert, don't make the pork chops, all right? I need somebody who not ashamed of the gospel to be in charge of seasoning the pork chops. Let me grab what I need. Hold the line. All right. I'm going to get some of this, and I'm going to get some of this. I'm definitely going to need some of this. Uh-huh. I'm going to need uh, some of this. Yep. I'm going to need some of this. Yep, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need some of it. Yep. And I'm gonna need some of this. Yep. And I'm gonna need, okay, I got enough. All right, I think I got enough of what I need. Here I come on my way. All right, there's an art to seasoning pork chops. And we got to make sure we're doing it the right dang um way, okay? Yes, you know I got ground fennel, amen? Y'all playing, but the food be good. You do all that talking all you want to, okay? You do all that talking, but you be smacking like me when we get done. I'm gonna put my grease on. Now, try to start to get it warm. That way, we ain't gonna be up here all day. Uh, let me find me some oil. Let me see what I got. Look at this. Huh? I want you to use whatever oil you got. Olive oil? No, not olive oil. Peanut oil, corn oil, vegetable oil. If you, I, if you got a little piece of Crisco, a little piece of Crisco, I'm not gonna even be upset with you. You see what I'm saying? I'm not even going to be upset with you if you got a little piece of Crisco. This is what I had in my cabinet. 
This is um, who is this? This Luana. Luana was the one that was down there when um she had went with them to the tomb with the spices, and they was gonna rub the spices on the body, and the, the tomb had rolled away, the stone was rolled away. Luana was there with him. Okay, so we're gonna use Luana peanut oil to okay, and yes, this is a cast iron skillet. See. The things you got to know, you got to get this right from the beginning, okay? Cast iron skillet. Now, what I'm doing is, before I came on here, I had washed out my skillet. It's got some water in it. You don't want to add this oil to the thing and get it hot. That ain't what you want to do, okay? You're going to tear up something, it ain't going to work. So, what I'm doing is I put the cast iron skillet on with the heat. And I'm letting the heat draw out the uh, water, okay? And once the water is um, all drawn out, once the water is drawn out, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my oil to the skillet. You see what I'm saying? Follow me. You can do this, okay? Now, all my oil is, I mean, all my water is out. So I'm going to go ahead and add in my peanut oil. Okay, and I'm not adding a whole lot. I'm only adding halfway up there, okay? And now we gotta work fast so we don't burn our house down. Okay, pork chops in here, okay? Seasoning, y'all ready? Sazon, no MSG Sazon. I'll be honest with you, I'm gonna be honest with you. If you find the one with the MSG, I wouldn't care, okay? Cause that'll work just as well. Shout out to all my Boricuas. You know all about Sazon, okay? Speaking of Boricua, adobo, okay? Now, it's going to make me sneeze, so be careful. Put you some adobo in here, okay? Now, back in the day, all we had was Lowry seasoned salt and black pepper. But today, we got adobo. Put you a little piece of Cajun seasoning in here. Okay, this is the kind from Sam's Club. Okay, it's gonna make me sneeze. I'm sorry. You know, my allergies ain't no good. Ground um, thyme. Okay, little ground thyme. Little piece of Italian seasoning or um, herbs de Provence. Okay, little piece of garlic powder. All we got. I got some more in the cabinet, okay? If you know me, a little piece of ground fennel. I like that, thank you. Y'all like it too, all right? A little piece of onion powder, okay? I wanna make sure I have enough salt, and that adobo is salty, but it don't be salty enough. So I'm gonna put a little piece of kosher salt in here, and I'm gonna do a lot of black pepper. Fresh, cracked black pepper. What we doing? Seasoning. Where we going? Up or yonder. Okay? Now you can't eat this every day. But every once in a while, especially during times like this, okay? When you watch CNN all day, you need, a, you need your little piece of, of this. Okay, now we need something to make this go together. Let me see what I got. Hold on. Let me see what I got. Oh, I ain't got nothing, child. I got some heavy cream. We're going to use that. Okay. You know, a little piece of buttermilk or something would really work wonders. If you had buttermilk, I don't got none. Okay. So I'm going to use a little piece of heavy cream. Well, you can't tell what this is no way, can you? It looked like it could be buttermilk. Put you some buttermilk in here. You don't know. It look like buttermilk, don't it? Buttermilk. Okay. And then get you a glove. And we're going to go on and marinate these. Let me tell you something now. This could be, this could definitely be something you did yesterday. You don't have to do this right now. 
You see what I'm saying? If you wanted to marinate these yesterday because you want to cook these tomorrow, you do that. The longer you marinate, the better this is going to be. See, and that little buttermilk we put in here, that buttermilk help it all stick real good. You see what I'm saying? You just need a little piece of liquid to help it stick real good. See, now when you put that buttermilk in here, look at what happened to that pork chop. See what I'm saying? See, that pork chop you, you, is getting baptized in the name of uh, ground fennel, in the name of garlic powder, and in the name of sazon. You see what I'm saying? That's getting real good on you. And that's exactly what you want to see happen. See that? Thank you. Ain't no way in hell that's going to be bad. I don't care what you say. I don't care how you put it together. Ain't no way in hell this is going to be bad. Okay? Now we got the fry. Come on. Get another bowl. You know my grandma would frown on me. That I don't have no paper bag. You know, you back in the day, you get a paper bag and you put it in the paper. I don't have one of those, so I got a bowl, okay? It's going to work out for our good. You know it is. Uh, yes, for our good, it's about to work out, okay? So come on, we're going to put a piece of flour in here. Okay, now this ain't keto. I just said that. And please do not try to make this with almond flour. What is it? Not the same. Okay. Say my word. Okay. <laughs> what is it? Not the same. All right. Please don't rush this. Make sure, make sure your oil ain't burning, though. Make sure your oil ain't burning. Hold on. Make sure I got a little. Okay. All right. We getting there. Come on. We got to work. We got to work. Okay. Flour, all right? Pork chops, marinated. You know, plate. Okay? It's a process. It's what grandma used to do. You take your pork chop, out your marinade like this here. You put your pork chop down to your flour. I mean, and you got to work this flour around this pork chop. Okay, you got to work it. Okay, then what you want to do is you want to shake off all your excess like this. See that? And that's what that buttermilk does. That buttermilk helps it stick on there real good like that. Okay, so that's one pork chop. Okay, look at this other one. See, you got to get you some imperfect pork chops. Don't, don't be out here. Don't be out here buying them perfect looking pork chops. Get you something that's been through the fire. And that's been through the flood, huh? Get you some pork chops that's got a testimony, okay? Y'all out here with them perfect pork chops ain't never been through nothing. You see what I'm saying? This pig that this came from, this pig done lived. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? This pig done been through the fire and the flood. It's been broken into pieces. And it's seen lightning flashing from above. But through it all, it remembers... That he loves it and he cares. And here's the promise. Huh? Come on. He'll never put more on you. Pick than you can bear. Huh? That's why he'll never put more on it than you can bear. That's why you shake off the excess. See what I'm saying? Not the excess. You shake off the excess flower like this here. See what I'm saying? Okay, because you don't want to put more on it than it can bear. Now, you got two ways you can test your oil to see if it's ready to go. Because the oil got to be at the right temperature. I don't know what temperature, like what the number is. Okay? I don't know what the number is. <laughs> I know how to tell you if it's ready. Huh? Because see, we didn't have no thermometers where I came from. No, 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 no. We don't have no thermometers, Doc. You take your little piece of flour and you flick your little piece of flour in there. If it bubbles up, it's ready to go, huh? Guess what? It bubbled up, 
Huh? It bubbled up. Come on, in the grease we go. Oh yes. Oh yes. Ooh, yes. Hold on. Hold on. Y'all, I, I can't, y'all really can't see it. But just take my word. Huh? You can't really see it, but just take my word that it's looking good. Come on, I gotta get this other one in here. Don't crowd the pan, but put them all in there. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. All right, we just go monitor the heat to make sure the heat is ready, okay? Okay. Don't get rid of this, okay? This is the flour that would be in the paper sack. And this is the flour grandma would use every time she fried pork chops and every time she fried chicken. And she never used to clean this out. She would keep this. You see what I'm saying? So then what you do is you just add a little more flour next time. Add a little more flour. That means this, this flour in this paper sack was probably about 12 or 13 years old. It probably was all kind of fungus and toe cancer swimming around in here. But you put it in the grease and it kill it. You see what I'm saying? So you save that. Plus we're going to need that to make a little gravy. Uh, listen. Come on, drink. Make sure um, you join our Keto Facebook group. Okay, our Facebook group Keto is called Everyday Keto. Um, I promise you, we're going to get back to good keto cooking after a while. I promise you, we are. We are. We are. Okay? We have a cookbook. All right, it's called Everyday Keto. You can pick this book up right now by going to shopdariuscooks.com. Many of you have already purchased the book. It's a little warm in here. Hold on one second, I gotta wipe my face. Many of you have already um, purchased the keto book. Perfect. Appreciate you. Love you. Many of you have gotten it. It's on the way. Everything's great. Okay. Also, there are two other books you can get too. Everyday Keto. There is uh, stories from my grandmother's kitchen. Okay. And then also there's Vegan But With Soul. I don't know where it's at. It's around here. But these books are available at shopdariuscooks.com. Ebooks too, huh? I know. Okay. Just make sure you go to Facebook. I want you to search for the group Everyday Keto. And then come join us. We are a non judgmental group. We do not judge this because he who is without sin. Let him cast yet the first stone, okay? All right, we don't judge, all right? Now, if your food don't look that good, they may talk about you, but we don't judge, all right? Let's check our pork chops to make sure they not. it's not time to turn yet, okay? Oh, it's time to turn a couple of them. Hold on. You heard that. <laughs> Thank you.
Uh-oh, hold on one second. Oh, Lord. Okay, come on, um, Instant Pot. Hold on. Okay, there you go. I don't think it was only that tight. I don't think it was only that tight on the Instant Pot. Let me see. There you go. Okay. Okay, now, we got to make our stuff out of our gravy, okay? We got to make this, get the vegetables ready for our gravy. Okay, for our gravy, This is what we need. You need a little piece of uh, bell pepper, okay? And I'm sorry, you you need the green one, okay? You you need the green bell pepper for this. This not gonna work with yellow. It's not gonna work with red. It's not gonna work with nothing but green. I mean, you know, it'll work, but. It ain't going to be the same. See, they didn't have all them colors when we was growing up. This is what they had. And we used what we had, okay? So you put a little piece of green bell pepper. You got to have some onion, okay? And I said this yesterday. Normally, I use the red onion, but the red onion wasn't no sale. Huh? No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. They didn't have them. They didn't have the red onion. So I picked up the yellow onion. It don't really add, it don't really matter. It don't matter what can you use. You just need some onion in here. Okay? You need some onion. Alright. Then you come on in here and you slice down this onion like this here. Okay, so you got your onion slice, you got your bell pepper slice. Come on, garlic. Come on, garlic. Introducing one of the stars of the show, and that's garlic. Okay, and I'm just gonna slice my garlic down a little bit like this here. See what I'm saying? That's it. All right, so we got garlic, we have bell pepper. And we have onion. All right. Now we're going to get this ready to go. We're going to put this in, in here. Okay. Now, you got to get you a, get you another plate. Get you another plate. I don't think I, I think I done messed up that just instant pot. Something ain't, something ain't instant pot and right. I don't think I done messed up enough. Let me see. What you doing over here? I don't know. We're just going to pray. Okay? We're just going to pray. I think something ain't right. All right. Get you a plate. Put you a paper towel. Now, back in the day, we used to use uh, newspaper. That was before Corona. Don't try it today. All right. I want you to pull out these pork chops. Okay, out of this grease. <laughs> Hand me a piece of white bread, would you? Hand me a piece of white bread, would you? Huh? I want you to pull these fried pork chops up off of that grease like that. What you say? <laughs> okay. Then grab you another pot and get you some tiles. And we're going to drain out 
the grease. Not all of it, okay? Drain out the grease. Please don't let me spill this. Come on, God. Come on, God. Leave you a little bit down in there. Like about that much. See what I'm saying? Leave you some swimming down in there. All right? Leave you a little bit in there. We're going to use that. And if we ever get a little dry, we got this to use. But you don't throw this away. We use this too. We You reuse this till you can't use this no more. See, can I tell you the rules real fast? Let me tell you the rules. Let me tell you the rules, okay? This is how it goes. This is how it goes. That is grease that we just used that we fry pork chops in. This is the rule. You can fry pork chops in that grease, and you can reuse that grease and fry chicken, all right? That's typically all you gonna fry in that grease. If you mess around and fry fish in that grease, you can't fry nothing else in that grease again but fish. You see what I'm saying? That's, let me take you to school. You see what I'm saying? You got two canisters. The old Folgers can. Chicken grease and fish grease. See, that's chicken grease. You can use that for chicken. You can use that for pork chops. You can use that to saute. You can use that to make gravy. You can use that to do whatever you want to do with. All right? The moment you use that to fry fish in, that don't go back in the chicken can. It go in the fish can because now it's fish grease. Huh? I know I just helped somebody. I know I just helped somebody. Now, normally I wouldn't do this in front of y'all. But see, the reason you want one with the bone in it, like this here, because you got to get this part off with the bone. Right up through here, got to come off, huh? And well, since it's fried, I said, let me just see. I'm telling you, ooh wee, this thing is amazing. I'm telling you, ooh wee. Let me cut my air on, it's hot. I'm really cooking. Hold on, put the air conditioner on. Saying up like that, I go one way and come back the other way. Put your little flour in here, okay? A couple of tablespoons of flour. This go in with the uh, onion, the celery, I mean the onion, the bell pepper, and the garlic, okay? Now, I'm going to teach you something real fast. I'm going to teach you something real fast. The longer you cook the flour, 
the better the flavor is on the gravy. If you taking notes, write that down. The longer you cook the flour, the better that gravy is going to be. And I don't know about you. I don't like no light skin gravy. I like a nice African-American Nigerian gravy. Something from Ghana. Huh? That's what I need in my life. I need a nice Nigerian dark skin gravy. Okay? All right. Now, we done fried the onions, we done fried the garlic, we done fried the bell pepper. The house smell amazing, all right? And that Bacardi is talking to me, Doc. The Bacardi is saying, hola, como esta usted? Estoy bien. Estamos comiendo chuletas. Okay. Then what you do is, you, now this is an art. We ain't have no whisk. Grandma had a spoon, okay? Put the water in there with a spoon and stir it together, okay? Here we go. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Put your little chicken bouillon in here, huh? Because now you got instant chicken stock, okay? Put you a little bit of onion powder. A little bit, the rest of this dry fennel. Put you a little piece of garlic powder in here. Oh, I got to find me some more. I got some right here. And then where that black pepper at? I mean, load this sucker up with black pepper. Okay, let it stir. It's gonna thicken when it comes to a boil, okay? It's gonna thicken. Now you want to go? I'm about to be done now. Hell, the pressure just started. I'm going to be done. We're going to take this. We're going to put. We're going to nestle our pork chops back into this gravy. Okay. Nestle our pork chops back into this gravy. And you could do it with a with a lid on, like cock the lid sideways. You know what I'm saying? That way you let some of the, the, um, the steam escape and then some of it stay in and make it juicy. I actually don't have a lid. Turn your fire down. I got it up high. Cut it down. All right. Cut it on low. And we're going to monitor it to make sure all is well. Now, I've been cooking these, cop, these uh, what have I been cooking? Greens. And uh, I'm about to season them for you. Because typically, I don't season the greens until the end. Okay. And they don't take that long either. This turnip and mustard green. These ain't collards. Collards take a long time. The mustard and turnips take it long. Listen, I need you to make sure you join our Facebook group, okay? I wish to hell y'all could hear this and smell it. 
I wish to hell y'all could smell these pork chops. Listen to him. Just listen. Listen to it. Hold on. Listen to it. You hear? Shh. That's our ancestors talking to us. That's our ancestors talking to us. You hear it? Oh. All right, let's season these collard greens. Question. We should refill our drink first and then season our collard green. For those of you who are just joining, good evening. I'm your host, Darius Cooks. We're all self-distancing and under quarantine. So we might as well make another cocktail. These are apple ginger daiquiris, and they are amazing. We need some ice. Hold the line. And just the smallest amount of Bacardi rum to the party. We ain't got to go to work tomorrow. Okay. All right. So now we want to shake this. Okay. That's the key to a good daiquiri. About 30 seconds. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 29, 30, okay? Then we top it off with a little bit of bold ginger ale. G-I-N-G-E-R apostrophe R-E-L-L, okay? Ginger ale. Okay. Let's go, because the green should be done. They've been, they've been cooking for a little bit. They should be done. Come on, let me get the greens out.
Listen, we done had our moments, huh? Let the steam escape from your instant pot. Okay. Don't forget, you can get a copy of Vegan But With Soul. Stories from my grandmother's kitchen or Everyday Keto. Okay, and we're going to cook the book. We're going to cook through this book. You can get this by going to shopdariuscooks.com, okay? Look at that. Who is that? <laughs> Me, okay? What am I? Torn between being a snack and eating a snack, okay? These days, sir, we eat all the snacks, okay? Look at that. You see that? Shopdariuscooks.com. Dot com. Look at that. That's the cauliflower casserole. That's the um, shrimp with the asparagus. What is that? Oh, this is the Hennessy and bacon shrimp and grits. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. And there are really great recipes in this one, too. You see what I'm saying? Really great recipes. This is the um, cornbread with the mashed potato cupcakes. This is the, um, that's nothing. Let's see, what's this? This is, oh, my grandmama potato salad. Oh, this is the fried okra with the chili lime salt. This is the smashed dill potatoes. This is the green beans with the white potatoes. This is the um, spinach and artichoke baked potato. Listen, okay? What's this? This is uh, my mama's um, chicken with the white beans. Okay, this is the um, garlic, the lemon garlic pork chop. And I'm telling you, it's stuff in here. Okay. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, call it, I mean, um, mustard and turnip greens. They done cooked down. The bacon is in here. Now, now listen, don't eat this. This ain't gonna taste that good, okay? Yet, we're gonna add chicken bouillon to this, okay? Then we're gonna add garlic powder to this, okay? I'm telling you, if you follow my directions on this, your pot of greens are gonna be amazing, okay? Y'all know, y'all know, everybody who made the greens for the holidays, you already know that these are the best greens you ever had. Don't tell your grandmama that, but you know these are the best greens you ever had, okay? That's Cajun seasoning. This is a little bit of onion powder, all right? I already said this wasn't keto. Put you a little bit of sugar in here. It's not going to be sweet, okay? And then grab your little piece of herb and pour your little herb in there, okay? Because greens are all about a mouth feel, all right? Now mix that together. That's all you need, okay? This all you... Ooh, look at that. This all you need, Doc. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. Huh? Ain't that much juice in there? Ain't that much juice in it? It'll cook down. That bacon done hung out in there. Oh, Lord. Hold on. I got to start over anyway. Hold on. Oh, Lord. Hold on. I forgot. They done, They only give me an hour on Facebook. I mean, on Instagram. Oh, shoot. Wait, I'm too drunk. Hold on. Hold on. I'll take a picture. <laughs> Somebody's uncle for real. Okay, look. See that? That's got the bacon <laughs> with the onion powder, the garlic powder. This is actually in the cookbook, by the way. Okay? This is actually on page, come on. Those of you who have your Bibles, turn with me to page 
70, please. Oh, this ain't the picture. Hold on. <laughs> this is the recipe. Page 70 is the picture. I mean, 69. That's a good number. Okay? See, this is the picture right here on page 69. Okay? What does it say do on page 70? It say smoked turkey. We, we use we used bacon. Chicken stock, beef stock. We just use all chicken stock. It's all right. Water if needed. Let me put water in there first. Garlic. Um, red pepper flakes if you want it to be a little spicy. Cajun seasoning with a little sugar. Bam. Okay. I just added onion powder in there because that's what I... That's what I want. You see what I'm saying? Okay. And then I already know they're going to taste good. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, my God. Mm. 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 That is delicious. Okay, come on. I'm sorry. What she said, let me give y'all a close-up. Let me give you a close-up. Huh? Let me give you a little piece of close-up. I'm gonna give you a little piece of close-up. So y'all can really see these pork chops in here. How they done soaked up in here with this gravy. Okay, now listen. We need a little something green on top. So I got a few little pieces of chives, okay? I don't need no more Bacardi, okay? Mm. The gravy is thick, I'ma show you. I'ma show you, hold on. The gravy is really thick, I'ma show you. In one second, come on. I'ma show you. chives or you can use green onion scallion it's up to you let me show you look at this See that? Let me show you. Look at that. You see that? Oh. 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 Then we're going to take our fresh chives that we just cut up and we're going to sprinkle them all over like that. Then we're going to find us a plate. Huh? Then we're going to find us a plate. I know. No a plate. Ain't nobody worried. Ain't no smiling faces Crying through the races Got a little piece of turnip and mustard. 
with the bacon. See, you need these. This is going to keep you nice and regular. Take you a look. See that? You see that? You see that? Huh? Now you can put your little piece of cornbread on here if you want. A little piece of mashed potato. Um, you know, whatever it is that you fancy, you can go for it. Um, hold on. I'm looking for my time, my dish time. What do I do with it? Dish time, where you at? Where it go? I found it. <laughs> I found it. You know, I don't like no dirty kitchen. No, no, no. I was looking for this towel to wipe up the stuff. Thank you. Y'all so kind. Okay. Uh, I got to taste this in front of y'all. This is the part of the job I hate the most. So at this time, we're going to ask you to please bow your head so we can say grace. Okay. Grace. All right, now we're gonna go in here and we're gonna cut a little piece of the pork chop off like this, okay? We got some of that onion and that bell pepper sitting up through here like this, okay? It's hot, it's hot. Hold on, hold on one second. I got to do this. I got to do this. Hold on one second. I got to get in here with this bone like this here, okay? I got to get up through here with this bone. And I'm out here. Perfection. You hear me? Mm. I'm talking about the gravy the soap that been here, the seasoning. Them got down in here real good. Ooh. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. Huh? You did that. Huh? And it's like something. Grandma would be proud at this boy job. Proud, I tell you. Now, if you want, you make a little piece of cornbread to go with this. I had to, I had the sleeve surgery. I can't eat all that, so I will. Mm, 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 mm. A little piece of green with the smoky bacon and the garlic powder and the onion powder. Uh -huh.
Listen. For recipes like this, you know where to find them, okay? On my website, the website is dairyscooks.tv. There's two things I want to tell you, as I always do. Food is my life. Life, it's my food. Until next time, I got to wish you a happy cooking from my heart to yours. Bye, y'all. Oh, my God. Mm, mm, mm.